Lisa Marie Presley died on January 12th at the age of 54 after being hospitalized. Prior to her death, she spoke out multiple times about the tragic death of her son, Benjamin. Benjamin Keough died by suicide in 2020 at the age of 27. Lisa Marie had previously opened up, saying she was, quote, destroyed by his death, as well as saying his death, quote, shattered her heart. Lisa Marie Presley is opening up about grief after losing her son, Benjamin Keough. In a new essay published to People, the 54-year-old admits she has faced some very low points following the 27-year-old's passing and still feels the devastation, writing, Me and my three daughters' lives as we knew it were completely detonated and destroyed by his death. We live in this every single day. Lisa Marie is mom to daughters Riley Keough, Finley Lockwood, Harper Lockwood, and late son Benjamin. The singer wrote the candid reflection for National Grief Day, getting honest about her personal journey. It's a real choice to keep going, one that I have to make every single day, and one that is constantly challenging, to say the least. But I keep going for my girls. I keep going because my son made it very clear in his final moments that taking care of his little sisters and looking out for them were on the forefront of his concerns and his mind. He absolutely adored them, and they him. She said, Benjamin died by suicide in 2020 and Lisa Marie explained in her emotional piece that she still feels the immense pain, adding, I already battle with and beat myself up tirelessly and chronically, blaming myself every single day and that's hard enough to now live with. But others will judge and blame you too, even secretly or behind your back, which is even more cruel and painful on top of everything else. This is where finding others who have experienced a similar loss can be the only way to go. Support groups that have your specific kind of loss in common. I go to them and I hold them for other bereaved parents at my home. The mom of four experienced grief at a young age when her dad Elvis Presley died in 1977. I've dealt with death, grief, and loss since the age of nine years old. I've had more than anyone's fair share of it in my lifetime and somehow I've made it this far. But this one, the death of my beautiful, beautiful son, the sweetest and most incredible being that I have ever had the privilege of knowing, who made me feel so honored every single day to be his mother, who was so much like his grandfather on so many levels that he actually scared me, which made me worry about him even more than I naturally would have. No, just no, she said. Now, Lisa says she is using her platform in hopes of inspiring others to be there for those who need it most. I'm saying this in the hopes that it helps someone who is suffering as I and my children suffer, in the hopes that maybe today or as soon as possible, you can reach out to someone who is grieving someone they loved and lost, whether they lost a child, a parent, a spouse, a sibling, a fiance, anyone. Lisa Marie Presley is remembering her late son, Benjamin. The 54 year old took to Instagram to share her thoughts on the upcoming film about her late father, Alvis Presley. And while reflecting on the biopic, she opened up about her enduring grief. Quote, I haven't posted in quite some time because there's really isn't much to say as I am and will forever be mourning the loss of my son. Lisa penned alongside a photo of a movie poster for Elvis, adding, navigating through this hideous grief that absolutely destroyed and shattered my heart and my soul into almost nothing has swallowed me whole. Not much else aside from my other three children gets my time and attention anymore. Lisa then took a moment to give the forthcoming film her stamp of approval and noted that Benjamin, who died by suicide in July 2020 at the age of 27, would have loved the movie, just like her 32-year-old daughter Riley and 13-year-old twins Finley and Harper did. Quote, what moved me to tears as well was watching Riley, Harper, and Finn afterwards, all three visibly overwhelmed in the best way possible way and so filled with pride about their grandfather and his legacy in a way that I have not previously experienced. It breaks my heart that my son isn't here to see it. He would have absolutely loved it as well. Lisa Marie Presley honors her late son on what would have been his 28th birthday. The singer broke her silence on Benjamin Keough's death with an emotional Instagram tribute on Wednesday, sharing her grief in a lengthy caption alongside a throwback photo of Ben blowing out his candles. Lisa Marie reflected on what she loved most about Benjamin and how the pain of his loss is something she'll carry forever, writing, My beautiful, beautiful angel, I worship the ground you walked on, on this earth and now in heaven. My heart and soul went with you. 
The depth of the pain is suffocating and bottomless without you every moment of every day. I will never be the same. Please wait for me, my love, and hold my hand while I stay to continue to protect and raise your little sisters and to be here for Riley. I know you would want that. Happy birthday, my sweet, sweet boy. You were much too good for this world. Benjamin died by suicide in July and was later buried near his famous grandfather, Elvis Presley, at Graceland. Following the news of his tragic death, a rep for Lisa Marie told Access Hollywood, she is completely heartbroken, inconsolable, and beyond devastated, but trying to stay strong for her 11-year-old twins and her oldest daughter, Riley. She adored that boy. He was the love of her life. Benjamin's sister, actress Riley Keough, joined her mother in wishing him a happy birthday on Wednesday, posting a pair of heartwarming Instagram photos of her and Benjamin posing together on Riley's 2015 wedding day and another set of snaps from their childhood. Over the summer, the Mad Max Fury Road star found a special way to keep his memory with her at all times, getting a tattoo of his first and middle names inked across her collarbone.